Welcome everybody to the Big Polly Video Channel, May 4, 2011. I am Big Polly Paul Blom here in Palace Park, Florida. I'm going to try to do this real fast because I have uh, air conditioning people coming to uh, replace the air conditioning unit and uh, do some modifications. They were supposed to be here at 8.30. It is 8.47 as I, as I speak, so I'm going to do this real fast. Osama bin Laden, the controversy about releasing the photos the White House has been engaging in the past uh, day and change. I personally think they should release the photos for the simple reason that it will eliminate all doubt from the doubters. Uh, not even the Arab world believes that Osama bin Laden is actually dead, whether it happened over the weekend or it happened uh, years ago, as some in the conspiracy realm seem to think. I was listening to uh, the homophobic one, Alex Jones, again yesterday. Bad habit. I should, really shouldn't be giving him any any uh, piece of my time that I should, but he had a gentleman on who was a right-hand man to everybody conservative back in the back in the day, Henry Kissinger, Cyrus Vance, and he said that Osama bin Laden had Marfan's uh, syndrome or disease, and that was the same thing Abraham Lincoln had, and that there was no way he could have survived nine years. Uh, they thought he was dead in late 2001, early 2002. There was a report on CBS News that I put on my Facebook page uh, from Dan Rather back in late January 2002 that said uh, that Bin Laden had visited a hospital. Now, if he had kidney problems, how could he have survived, survived nine years? I think that's a very open question. How he survived nine years is something that uh, the American people should get an answer on, and we're not getting any answers once again. Uh, I believe Osama bin Laden is dead, whether it happened uh, over the weekend or it happened uh, years ago. But let's show the pictures. Let's just eliminate all doubt. And let's just move on. Uh, I have no doubt we're going to get hit by a terrorist attack again. But, you know, the American people are resilient. They'll bear it. They'll move on. And uh, America will move on. Uh, and uh, if, the, if the leaders don't want us to move on, we just put in new leaders. That's all. This has been my very abbreviated uh, video blog for May 4, 2011. I hope to catch you all again uh, real soon. Bye-bye for now.